All right, my presentation was on photography and journalism during the Great Depression. At the beginning of the Great Depression, you can see journalism throughout talking about the stock market crash in 1929 and how that's going to affect um, a whole bunch of people in America. And so we go through and we see unemployment in citizens. Um, with this unemployment, there was also a great drought that was happening which caused uh, crops to die and with these crops dying the dirt and soil became more dust like and created dust storms that went all over the east um but with this so these families were losing their farms and so they didn't have any means of getting money or food so they started traveling west um then in 1933, FDR was elected president, and he had this idea of the New Deal, which was relief, reform, and recovery from the Great Depression. So, to get Congress on board with this idea, he hired, he had his undersecretary of agriculture, Rexford Tugwell, hire a man named Roy Stryker, who was in charge of chief of the who was in charge of the historic section and the division of information, and he also led the photography unit. So Tugwell wanted Stryker to quote show the city people what it's like to live on the farm. Stryker created a team of documentary photographers. He didn't want any ads or propaganda or drawing in these photos because he really wanted to show people what was going on in people's lives. He wanted real life photos, he wanted emotion, and he wanted the farms, the dust storms, everything that people wouldn't really know much about. So one of the first um, photographers he hired was Arthur Rothstein, and he took most of the photos during the Great Depression. And one of his um, photos was this one, the uh, car fleeing a dust storm, which is, you can see all in the back. Um, the next photo is of a man who is holding up his hand to show how high the grain should be, and how high his crops should be, but instead it's way lower than what it is, or what it should be. And then in his last photo, which is one of his most famous photos, is called Fleeing a Dust Storm, which... Um, you can see a man and his two sons are walking through a dust storm to get away, and they're probably going to go into their little shed, which is, like, buried maybe two feet in dust. And you can see the dust falling, following them with the wind. And, yeah, it shows lots of what was happening. Um, the next uh, photographer that I was going to talk about is Dorothea Lang. Her photographs were became famous because of her one series called the Migrant Mother series. But before she did this series, she take photos of um, places. So as you can see before, this was one of her photos was of a house, and all of its crops are covered in dust. And you can see a lonesome road on right next to them. And it's just really sad because there's nobody there. It's an abandoned house. And then in this next photo, not part of the Migrant Mother series, but this is a tent in which the um, families would live in. There would be up to six to eight people living in them. And you can see a father and his four children in the tent right now. And then in the last photo... These two are part of her Migrant Mother series. As you can see, this is the mother and her two children in that first photo. And she's carrying an infant. And that tent is actually part of her car, which is in the background. And Dorothea Lang actually stumbled upon these people and was just immediately asked, can I take your picture? She didn't ask them their names or anything because she didn't think it was important for people to know the names. They just needed the emotion behind it. She did ask her, however, about um, how long it had been since they had eaten and 
according to the mother, it was not for a long time, and they hadn't had any fuel to move their car, so they were just stranded right next to this forest. Anyways, that was, that's it, that's all I got.